trying to use cursor on a huge cock base feels like dragging a boat through the mud. And yeah, a lot of people are saying cursor just can't handle it. But here's what they don't know. There's a setting inside cursor that changes everything. It's built for large projects, but it's turned off by default. So today I'll show you exactly how to flip the right switch, optimize cursor and make it actually usable even when you're working with thousands of files. So if you've been struggling, you're not crazy. You just haven't been shown how to set it up right. So let's fix that and get you moving a lot faster. All right, let's get into cursor. If you head over to your settings, you can click over here. You might have to turn on your beta feature by heading to beta, beta feature, select early access. And then what you want to do is look for the beta features because it's one of the features that will say include project structure, include a simplified directory tree to give the model a sense of your code base layout. So this is the feature you want to turn on if you have a large code base because it will be able to tell cursor how to better handle your code base by creating a directory tree that makes it easier for it to handle it. Just by turning this simple feature right here, you should already see an improvement of how cursor is able to handle your code base. And if it's not working, what I would recommend is to essentially create better cursor rules that will make it easier for cursor to understand the different structure of your project and what files they need to look at based on your current project. So I've done that on some project, not on this current one that I'm working on, but I'll make a video where I'm breaking down my new workflow for cursor very soon. And then you'll be able to see exactly how to use that. But in the meantime, if you guys are curious to learn new step-by-step -step guide and improve your cursor skills or your AI building skill, make sure to check out AI Founders Club at joinaifounders.club. And it's a community of AI builders that are from around the world trying to build apps with AI. A lot of them are vibe coders or learning to vibe code. And there are a bunch of courses like, like the cursor course for learning how to build with AI, all the iOS development course, or the course that cover exactly how MCP works and more. So if you are curious to get access to that and also get access to exclusive deals, make sure to join AIfounders.club and you'll get access to not only that, but also a set of resources and directory that you can use as a startup founder or someone that just want to build an app or generate money while building apps online. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And then I see you guys in the next one.